We turn now to a Fox 5 iTeam exclusive. Seven actresses from across the country tell our iTeam that a Hollywood acting coach lured them into making sexually charged videos for a television role that did not exist. One actress filed a Federal Trade Commission complaint accusing the Atlanta-based acting coach of coercion, fraud, and revenge porn. Senior iTeam reporter Dale Russell has the story. I had no idea you were going to propose. They are actresses from across the country, from Los Angeles. Why are you trying to make me feel guilty for needing your help right now? To Atlanta. I love my girls. All with Hollywood hopes and dreams. That's a coworker, isn't it? Yeah, girl, he really tried to get my number. Though they didn't know each other personally, they shared a common bond. At one time or another, they studied acting with a nationally known Hollywood director and acting coach, Troy Rowland. Rowland made a name for himself coaching Hilary Duff in Disney's hit show, Lizzie McGuire. And at that moment, I knew that it was, it was crazy, that Lizzie was just, just out there. Here he is more recently on a set with former Destiny's Child singer, now actress, Kelly Rowland. He coaches in L.A., Houston, and right here in Atlanta. A class can cost $400 a night. The Fox 5 I team went undercover to see what he told students he could do for them. But it's what happened outside of class that caught our eye. The I team spoke with seven actresses who studied with Troy Rowland. They all say he urged them to try out for the role of a stripper in a new TV series. They say he told them to video a sexually charged audition tape, and they were horrified to find out later the role never existed. One of the actresses filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. In her complaint, the actress told the FTC Roland was guilty of impersonation, coercion, fraud, and revenge porn. I'm off the game. The role was supposed to be in a spinoff of the highly popular television series, Power. He saw I was vulnerable and an easy target. Roland sent a script for the audition tape and the role of Keisha, whom he described as sexy, nice body, sexual and sensual. And I'll be reading for the role of Keisha. Roland gave him a scene to shoot in a strip club private room. Instructions were clear. She turns and shows him all she has, and she gives him the best lap dance he has ever had. And just to know that he made all that of it. Over an eight-month period beginning in 2019, in multiple cities, Roland invited actresses to audition for this same role. I need to be seductive, um, wear something very revealing, and uh, don't be shy. Roland texted one actress and urged her to wear see-through lingerie as well as stripper attire. Just can't handle all this. And to urge them to be sexier, they say, Troy Roland sent them the provocative audition tapes made by other actresses. And he said, I want you to do it like them, but do it better. Wear something a little bit more revealing in this area. Show off your assets, stay open. And everyone was like, do a little more. She did this, so you need to do a little bit more. Janika Lachey from Houston and Erica Davis from California were stunned when one night in January, while they both happened to be acting in the same movie, they compared notes and ultimately unraveled the scheme. It was devastating. Like, my heart just dropped. Like, I was shaking. Like, I didn't want to go home. Something Emmy still wanted to know, like, what was he planning? What was, what was he trying to do? They reached out to power casting director Rory Bergman, who confirmed their worst fears. There was no Keisha, no part at all, and they had no working relationship with Troy Rowland. Rory Bergman told the I-Team the auditions were reprehensible and that I want this guy to never be able to do this to anyone else again. No one had a clue that behind closed doors he's preying on women like, like this. As they grappled with what to do and who to tell, Janika and Erica realized they were far from alone. There were other women duped into provocative auditions. And then another girl came up. And then another girl and another girl. And then to know that my video was shared to bring these other women in. <laughs> They identified five other women. The I-Team talked to all of them, four on camera. Caitlin Bryant is the only one who didn't go through with her audition 
after a friend warned her it didn't seem right. She was stunned when she learned about the deception. It just put me in a place that I had went dark because at that moment, that's when I knew this was not real. And, and I thought it was just me. All the rest share the same fear. Where is that video at? That video has me in lingerie and partial nudity and a sexual, sensual dance. Yep. It's, it's, it's sick. And that was the scary moment was <laughs> where did, what are you doing with these videos? Mr. Rowland, we want to talk to you very briefly, can we? We tried to talk to Troy Rowland before one of his acting classes. He jumped in his car and sped off. He also didn't answer our earlier emails, phone calls or texts. I think he's operating like a predator because of the strategies that he's using to get women on tape. And that is wrong. That's real cute.